So in my early 20s, I went to rehab for drug addiction. And the first thing that happens when you get to one of those establishments is they give you a patient intake questionnaire, which is full of very dry and direct statements about how you've been treating yourself lately. And the first thing that I did after filling this in is I went back to my room and translated the questionnaire into a surrealist poem. And then my counsellor found out that I'd been doing this to all of the paperwork. And he said, well, what have you been doing that for? And I said, well, because I'm a poet and that's how I understand the world. And he said, oh, it sounds like you're using it to deflect from the questions. <laughs> and it sounds like uh, you're using poetry to hide from yourself. Um, and I said, well, that's rubbish. And then about eight years later, I suddenly thought, OK, maybe, maybe he has a point. Because when you write poems, it comes from the desire to confess something, but without saying any of the facts. You wrap it up in a dream. Uh, you disguise it in order to reveal it. So the first section of the book is all about addiction and denial and deflection. And this is my version of that patient intake questionnaire. Do you taste pepper? whilst eating ice cream? Do sandwiches appear intricately designed? Do you think of waterfalls when lighting a match? Have you started to look at pigeons like they know something? Do you think about your chin when you are kissing? Can you feel the blood in your thumb? Do your eyebrows feel like stickers? Do you look twice at your name on a letter? Does your hair hurt? When barefoot, do your shoes feel too tight? Can you sense the tiny holes in the cotton of your shirt? Do you peel bananas fearfully in case there is no banana inside? Does the ceiling occasionally ripple? Has your pillow developed a strange echo? Does your neck feel like a bone? Do you hear sex noises through the wall when standing in a field? 